When authorities in rural Idaho contact the Idaho National Guard for extraction, the process begins with information. Location is an important one because we got to get to the right uh, spot, and uh, sometimes that could be a challenge due to uh, coordinate formats and then uh, frequencies for the ground personnel so that we can talk to them from the air. And then we want to know things like elevation and temperature if they have that type of data. Uh, how many are injured, uh, what's the nature of their injuries and things like that. When the bird is in the air, the crews begin preparing for challenges caused by the wind. Uh, higher altitudes, we just need to be extra careful uh, to make sure we know where the winds are and that our aircraft is, is making the power that we're planning on it to make. When they arrive, crews will initiate a search pattern to locate the person they need to rescue. Once we find them, we'll kind of do our own safety assessment, determine whether we can uh, land the aircraft or if we're going to have to do a, a hoist recovery. In all three rescues this past week, the Idaho National Guard used a hoist recovery, where both pilots, a hoist operator, and a medic all work together. In most cases, we just send the medic down first and then the helicopter will go off to a different location. And the medic will typically uh, package the patient, uh, put him in a, 